this will see your first ever uh, sex scene. In <laughs> yes, I have a sex scene in Cucumber, but don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed, public. You don't see anything. It's a, it's an unsuccessful sex scene. I can, I think I can reveal without it being too much of a spoiler. Um, so I don't have to go too far with it. There's just a bit of rolling around on bed with the, yeah. Bit of snogging, which was great. It's a whole afternoon of that without any recriminations. So smashing, yeah. Because we didn't see Roy and Hayley no, at any of that. No, we never even properly kissed, you know. So it was very strange for me to be, you know, I mean, the only person I've kissed in, in decades has been my husband. So suddenly to sort of meet someone quite well known off the telly as well and to be like, hi, I'm Julie, right, let's get down to it. It was um, a new experience for me, but, but not altogether a liberating one. It was great. <laughs> Uh, so, um, what was it like working with Russell T Davies? Had you worked with him before? No, I've never worked with Russell T Davies before. I, I know Russell of old because Queer as Folk came out just as the, at the time when Haley had come into Coronation Street. So we were very much part of that sort of community in Manchester. We, we often found ourselves on like panels together talking about sort of queer politics. Um, you know, Manchester Pride in the summer, you know, we were both very involved in that. So I know Russell of old. And, uh, and he knows my husband really well as well because my husband, when he was an actor, was in The Grand, which was one of Russell's first TV series. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I was very, very acquainted with Russell and his work. Uh, but it was an absolute pure chance that this part came up just at the time when I left Coronation Street. It's beyond my wildest dreams, really, you know. And it's been really funny because quite a few people have said to me, so was it a conscious decision for you to do something, you know, you know, something like a Russell C. Davis drama, was that? And I was like, as if I would have any control or power over that whatsoever. It was just like, like a wonderful piece of good happen chance for me. So, yeah, no, it was, uh, it, it was a brilliant experience. So did you do any research into middle-aged gay men and, and their sisters? Or? <laughs> Anything like that? I didn't do any research into that. I'm very much ensconced in the sort of LGBT world. I, I, I didn't feel... Uh, I, I did an interview, a research interview the other day, and, and they said... Uh, and they asked me the most extraordinary question. They said, so what was it like being in a, um, a mainly gay cast? And I was like, I, I don't know how to answer that question. It's like, I, I was just like working with a group of people. You know, it was, it was brilliant. Yeah. Um, but it's a world I'm very comfortable in. And, um, and she's not a million miles away from me as a character, I don't think. I mean, she's, I think she's a bit more sassy than me. And but she's been around the block a few times. You know, she's, even though she's the, the moral voice of the show, she's certainly not straight laced in any way, shape or form. Um, no, it was just all there on the page for me, really. It was just a, a, an incredible, beautifully written, complex character. And, and, and one of many, I mean, there's a hundred people in Cucumber, you know, it's very much Henry and Lance's story, but there's a hundred characters. I, I like to see it as a sort of tales of the city um, for Manchester, really. 